Bastu. Welcome to Creative Women Studio. Hey everyone, hope you had a productive week. Hope you're enjoying the warm weather. We have been fortunate and we've had some rain here and there. Not enough, we need like a good soaker. We need it to rain like steady, not like a downpour, just a good soaker like for an entire day. Our pond is very low and it's concerning. I'm worried we won't be able to swim in it and play in it much this year because when it's really low like that, it's hard for Kevin to keep the weeds down and I don't like getting in the water and having weeds touch my legs. Ugh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. So I don't know. It's just probably gonna be one of those years, but I know a lot of people are in desperate need of rain. So I hope that you get what you need. This past week, was extremely busy. I didn't get near as much done as I had hoped. I always make my to-do list ridiculously long and then carry, I start this list on Monday that's just ginormous. And then what I don't get done Monday, I transfer over to Tuesday. And I just quit transferring because I'm like, there's no way I'm going to get to that this week. Just, it's been busy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say other than that. So... I, uh, so we're getting a new floor put in downstairs and we redid our basement or our bathroom. We redid our bathroom down there and I like all the doors and the trim need to be painted before the floor comes in. So Sunday I worked on that quite a bit. I put the primer on. I had one side of the doors painted. I wanted to get it all done before we left for Tennessee and that didn't work out. So the, the second side of the door and then a lot of the trim didn't get painted. So I worked on that Sunday, but then mom and I start after dinner, we started playing cards and I'm like, you know, a couple of hands of cards and then I'm going to go finish painting those doors. And we got to having fun and I just said, that I'm not going to do it. So, so Monday when I should have been working, I put, I finished the doors and the trim downstairs. So that feels really good. The, like I said, the floor is coming this Wednesday. And then all we have left is one side of the basement, like the smaller half of the basement. The ceiling needs to be redone and then we're putting a bar in down there. So the bar can wait until 2022 as far as I'm concerned. I just want the floor in and the ceiling done because then it will look very finished and we can get rid of like the rugs that we've had down there for years that are just kind of trashed now and it's gonna look beautiful so I can't wait to share that with you guys and then uh the grandkids on Thursday it was also Brianna's birthday so that was really fun when she got out of work her and her mom came over Eric stopped over after work so we had a house full Ryan wasn't with us unfortunately but we had cupcakes and we sang to her and I will insert some videos at the end of this video because the kids are just hilarious. I can't, I just, there's no, nothing else to say about it. And then they had their first corn on the cob. I didn't know they had never had corn on the cob. And it was so cute watching them eat this corn on the cob. I mean, Bubby, Bubby is his nickname. His name is Easton, but they call him Bubby. Well, it's really hard for me to call him Bubby because Kyle's dog is named Bubba. And I accidentally call him Bubba. And then I call the dog Bobby and I, it's just a mess. So when he's here, I try to call him Easton because it doesn't take much for me to get confused. So yeah, them eating corn like cob was just a delight. They didn't want to eat the other food that was with it because they were having so much fun eating corn like cob. Anyways, they ate, it seemed like all day long, especially Easton, like he, and then Ellery. Okay, so I feed, fed them like after their nap, well, she didn't take a nap again, of course, but he took a nap a good hour, maybe an hour and a half. And so I usually feed them something after their nap. 
Well, they ate before their nap too. And then after their nap, I made some mac and cheese and she didn't want any. So she waited until like an hour before dinner. And she's like, well, my belly's not full. I need to eat something. <laughs> like This is how she talks. I'm like, can you say please? She's so cute. And I said, well, now it's too close to dinner time. You're going to have to wait. I said, that way you'll be really hungry for dinner and you'll eat a good dinner. Well, she didn't eat that good of a dinner. She ate that corn on the cob. She went and she kept saying, I want a big old, pe I want a big old corn. Because like I broke it in half for Easton. She didn't want me to break hers in half. She said, I want a big old corn. So cute. But they're a delight. We had a lot of fun. We didn't go outside and play. I mean, we went outside, but we didn't like do the sprinkler thing and, and all of that. It just, it didn't work out for whatever reason. It just didn't. But mom and <laughs> I'll insert a video of them playing with my mom. They just love her so much. It's so sweet because my mom is, you know, gone to Florida most of the year. They're only here for two to three months in the summer. So she's always worried that they're going to forget her. But I always make sure we FaceTime with mom and Jerry when they're in Florida and we don't do it every Thursday. Sometimes I can't reach them or sometimes I forget, but it keeps them tied, you know, to mom and Jerry when they're not here physically. So every, my mom was out of the room of like, where's Gamma? Where's Gamma? I was so cute. So anyway, another great week with the kids. So announcements. I have people that are interested in CW Live. Just a real quick update. I am going to set up session sitch words are hard i am going to set up session six this week for purchase because i know some people are kind of wanting to pet purchase the next session and i don't have it ready yet so i'm working on that that will be ready this coming week and then uh i got in some blackberry primitive uh the linen and i haven't tested it yet but i'm going to I did, however, get the Fat Quarter Shop. You'll see it in my haul video later. But I did get the little counter. So I'll insert a picture. It's 30 count. If you look at the salvage edge to the salvage edge, that in that direction, it's a 30 count. But when you turn it, those linen threads that are going the other way are much smaller. So I could not get an accurate reading because I'm the ruler. It's an actual, the, the ruler is actually from Yarn Tree. And it goes 30, 32, and then it jumps, I think, to 36. So it, it doesn't, it's in between 32 and 36 somewhere. I don't know because, like I said, it doesn't have, like, 35 count or, anyways. So... What that means then is that if you were to stitch something that is meant to be square, it's going to end up oblong, depending on which way you stitch on your on your linen. Because if it's 30 count one way, and let's say it's 33 or 34 count the other way, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be square. It's not it's not 30 count both directions when I measured it. So, but I think it would be great, you know, for a prim stitch. I even thought it would be fun to just do a freehand stitch on it. Just make something up as I go. Because y'all, I, I have to admit, I really struggled with stitching this week. I cannot stand getting knots in my thread. And it happens so often. And some of the knots come out easily. Some of them I have to cut it and then re-thread it. And then it, I'm struggling really hard with the whole knots thing and I even like after I see it starting to get curly I hold up my project and I let the the thread dangle and you can see it unwinding and then I start stitching again and that helps but I still get a lot of knots and I'm just really frustrated so I was watching I only got to watch a little bit of it but Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop was stitching and she was saying that she is using silk and it doesn't knot. And I was like, ding, 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 ding. I gotta get some silk. I wanna try it. I mean, I'm never gonna completely go over to silk, but I want, I'm want. i interested in trying it. And I was talking about this on Witch Paint Wednesday. Colleen, and I, I can't remember who all was on, 
but we were talking about you know stitching with silk and Colleen said she switched over to silk or not maybe not switched over completely but she was stitching using silk and she loved it because it doesn't knot and I was telling her telling them everybody that was on Witch Paint Wednesday that you know I love a lot of designers projects or um, designs I love I mean who doesn't love Blackbird and Brenda Gervais uh, I love La Di Da. I love Stacy Nash. Oh, who else were we talking about? I like, oh, God, Plum Street Sampler. I love the whimsical, funky. That's what I love about Plum Street and Barbara Anna Designs. I love that funky, whimsical design. So anyways, uh, I have Barbara Anna's. I think it's called All Creatures. And I know Lori Holt was stitching it. She's probably already done with it because she's a, a prolific stitcher. But I have that design. And I don't know. I'm going to get a hold of Acorns and Threads and see if they have a silk conversion. And if they do, I'm going to buy that. Because, <laughs> like, I have enough of my own designs that I could keep very busy for the rest of my life just stitching my own stuff. But I do want to stitch another designer's project. And of course I would pick something that's ginormous. So it might take me three or four years, maybe even five years to get it done. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. I just want to, you know, even if I just spent three hours a week stitching on it, because that is my all time favorite design from another designer. I love her animals. It's funky. It's quirky. It's whimsical. And it's just gorgeous. So I'm hoping that someone has a silk conversion because I really don't want to stitch that with cotton thread. I really want to stitch it with silk. There you go. That was a little rant for you. Whips. Okay, I have some whips for you. <laughs> Let's show. Okay, my CW Live class. Hold on. We're stitching that angel. Oh. Stitching this angel. I think last week I had the papers on, I believe. Did I not? Anyways, I trimmed all the papers around it. I sanded the edges smooth. And then I traced her onto here with graphite paper. And then I used a Sharpie paint marker, not no, no, no. I was trying to be very specific that I didn't screw up, and I screwed up. I used a Sharpie paint pen. You do not want to use a marker, a permanent marker, because it will bleed through the paint. But if you use a Sharpie paint pen, it's oil-based paint, and then you can paint over top. And it won't bleed through, and it's wonderful. So, so I'm ready for my class on Tuesday. Usually Tuesday during the day, I'm getting ready for class, like a few hours before class starts. So I have a jump on it, and I'm very happy about that. Okay, my cross-stitch whip. I did pretty decent this week. I did pretty good. Let me get up and show you a close-up. So last week, I believe I had, I, I, was, I was working my way back on this stripe on the flag, I believe. So I added all those stripes. I added the pole, and then I'm starting on her dress at the bottom. So <laughs> you guys, this is why, okay, so this is going to be one of my models. I am creating a patriotic book for the Nashville market in March, and this is one of the patterns that's going to be in that book. This is why I send out my model or why I send out my stuff to model stitchers because they are so awesome and they don't make mistakes like I do. I have so many mistakes in this. So I messed up in this pole is supposed to go all the way up. Yeah. But when I counted over to start the flag, I counted over and then started on the stripes instead of this. So now if I had that going all the way up, it'd be clo too close to the E on wave. 
So I'm like, well, I'll just move the pole in and go down. <laughs> yeah. So there's a mistake. There's a mistake. This seven is incorrect. The Y is up a stitch too high. I mean, there's more. I think the E is up too high or the, the I don't remember, but anyway. So I'll show you my goal this week. So this is half of the chart. So my goal this week is to get her done, but yeah, that's a that's a big goal because I just had the bottom of her dress done. So anyway, working my way up her dress. My, you know, something that I struggle with is I started down here because I thought it would be easier than to try. I don't know what that was all about. I, so after I stitched this post, I was going to count back up here and do their hands. Oh, that's the other screw up. <laughs> I just went ahead and did this, this post, this flagpole all the way down. I was supposed to stop where their hands meet. No. So now I'm going to rechart it and just have their hands coming up to the post, the pole. I'm, just, I'm so sorry, guys. I, I just, I'm not a good stitcher, but I'm just learning. This is only my second project. So when I started this, I did the bottom row. Well, then when I came back, so I do the sewing method, when I went to go up, it, I, it didn't work. I can't explain why. Because I had it, I was supposed to start in the same hole that I finished in, so it kept pulling through, and I'm like, well, what do I do now? So instead of trying to stitch up, I'm gonna count up to like this, where the where it indents right there, and I'm gonna stitch down, and then I'm gonna count up to where this one is and stitch down. I don't know, or should I? Just, I don't know, guys. I I don't know, like what direction to go. Sometimes, I mean, I'm muddling through, and it's it's working for me. But I'm sure there are rules, not necessarily rules, but I'm sure there are techniques that would help me to transition directions. I don't know, whatever. I'm getting through it, though. I am getting through it, and I think it's turning out cute. It's going to be really cute when it's done. Oh, yeah, and so on the flag, on the flag, actually, this white... Uh, thread will be will fill in 1776 and all the stripes but I just did, I wanted to be done with the flag for a while and then I really want to get that girl done so I thought well I can always fill in the flag at the last possible minute because I don't even have to count I'm just filling in so those are my whips correct yes those are my whips okay finishes I forgot, I gotta go. So this past Tuesday, we finished Help Someone. And I love how it turned out. I'm really pleased with it. And the students are doing an amazing job on it. It just, the crackle turned out so good on this one. And I just think that quote is amazing. So it's supposed to say Ronald Reagan down here I may still put it in, but it will be much smaller than it is in the sketch. I even thought about just putting it on the side, a uh, quote by Ronald Reagan. I don't know. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do yet. But look at the crackle, guys, how good it turned out. I love it when the crackle turns out good, and it doesn't always do that, you know. So there you go. That is one finish. The other finish I have is a punch needle finish because <laughs> this was so close to being done and it's been sitting, just sitting downstairs waiting to be completed. Well, my mom is starting a punch needle and she, she didn't, she forgot to bring all her punch needle supplies. So I got her set up with all new stuff. Well, this frame, I thought I was going to, she was going to need this frame. So that's why I went ahead and finished it. Well, come to find out, I had another one of these wood frames that she's using, so it I didn't have to finish it. But anyway, I'm just glad it's done. So this is called, this chick, this chick likes flowers. No, what is it called? This chick loves flowers, okay? And this is from my punch needle book, Celebrate, 15 Years of Needlework. 
Yeah, and I love the background. I love how it turned out. So the background has this uh, DMC. Oh, I see. I need to trim some. Uh, this DMC dark pine or something. I can't remember the number of it. And then around it, so there's like these little shapes. And then around it is Bullfrog from Weeks Dye Works. And then Putty and Sage are the leaves. And the leaves are two-tone. And I just think it looks really cool. So yeah, hopefully next week I'll have it fully finished. I would love to, um, you know, put that on a wood piece of some sort. And then for What You Paint Wednesday, I worked on my bear calendar. So I got this sweet little piece done for the bear calendar. This is watercolor. And this is the first time in my bear calendar, I believe, that I mixed acrylic paint with watercolor. So most of it's watercolor, but I had her flower a pink and I think I didn't like it because it's so weird how your eye, color can move your eye around a painting. So I have all this like pink down here. Well, I don't know. That being the same color as these just drew your eye up here and I wanted, I did it's hard to explain, but that's what I saw. So I painted acrylic paint over that. I had the, the birds way too dark of a blue. Well, with watercolor, a lot of times you, I mean, you can take some of the paint off, but it can be muddy afterwards when you paint over it. So I decided to use acrylic and I painted over that. And then the white on the flower or these seed pods. And then here I painted white acrylic paint because they had gotten a little bit dingy and got some other color on them. So anyways, I think she turned out super cute. So that is my progress there. I want to show you real quick a painting. This is going to be, this is the cover for the 2022 calendar, which I have 170 of them on order. But in that suite, I love that one. So yeah, that's the cover image for the calendar that's coming out this year. Okay, so we have two people that sent in their finishes. We have Muddy Creek Primitives. She said, I finished this wonderful design, Land That I Love, with all the called for floss and 35 count linen that she hand dyed herself. This is my first sampler and I loved working on it. I don't have her name. It just says Muddy Creek Primitive. So thank you so much for sharing your finish with us. And then next we have Carol Sims. Carol stitched Faith, Hope, Peace, and Love. She stitched it on 36 count autumn leaves with the called for floss. And it turned out fabulous. She has it all framed beautifully. So thank you so much, uh, Carol and Muddy Creek Primitives for sharing your finishes with us. I really appreciate it. So if, it, if you have finished one of my designs and you would like it featured in my floss tube, all you have to do is email me at TeresaCogat3 right here on the screen. TeresaCogat3 at gmail.com. All right, so for haul this week, I got, well, I'm going to do an insert of a couple videos. So let's just go ahead and insert the first haul that I got this past week, which was from Witchelt. So I'll insert that here. Got some goodies in the mail today. This is from Fat Quarter Shop. This should be my linen gauge. Oh yeah, and crimson. I was out of crimson. I usually buy my stuff wholesale, but when I'm desperate, I know I can get it faster from 123 Stitch or Fat Quarter Shop. Yeah, so here's that stitch gauge. And I want to see what stitch count the linen is from Blackberry Primitives. Hold on one second. So Amanda from Blackberry Primitives sent me, I don't know, it looks like way bigger than a 13 by 17. She may have to give me a fat quarter shop maybe? A fat quarter shop. <laughs> a fat quarter. <laughs> Ooh, look at that brown color she gave me too. I'm so excited. Ooh, so this is biscotti hand dyed linen and this is earthy green which is more of a brown so let's use this stitch gauge and see what count linen it is
Oh, this is from Yarn Tree. Hmm, okay. So 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay. So I think it's like a 30. Oh man, that's hard for me to see still. Oh my. I don't think my, I'm going to have to have my magnifier to see that. I think it's a 30 count. Well, I'm going to take it up to the house where I have a magnifier. A magnifier light that will help me see this better. Because I'm having a hard time seeing. Yep can't tell even with my nice glasses on so I'll have to get back with you on that I'm so bummed I thought I was gonna figure it out right now okay then I ordered from which out I needed to get I needed to get I needed to, my bad I needed to buy or I needed to be able to buy DMC wholesale I shouldn't have to go to Joanne and pay, you know, over a dollar for DMC floss when I can just set up a wholesale account. Well, I tried to set up a wholesale account with DMC, but they only go through distributors. So I signed up for an account, wholesale account with Wichelt. So I not only got some DMC floss. Oh, okay, so this is the deal. I got DMC floss. This finishes out all the DMC floss that I needed for, oh my gosh, for the, oh, what do you call it? The Silver Needle Retreat. I designed a sampler and I'm kitting it up with all the linen and DMC. So look at, this is all DMC. Yeah, I have to get on that. I leave for the retreat. Kevin and I leave on the 13th or something like that of July. So it is, what is today, the 15th? So yeah, it's a month away that we leave. I gotta cut all the linen, which Kevin offered to do. Okay. So sweet. And then I ordered some linen from Witch Out. Because I love Picture This Plus Bramble. I absolutely love it. But it's very difficult to get a wholesale order from Picture This Plus because they're so popular that, you know, they they fall behind schedule and I think it takes like up to three months for, to get your order. And I don't ha I just don't have time. I'm always designing and I don't have time to wait. So I really needed a replacement for Bramble. So I was looking on Rich House website and I picked out some light color fabrics that I think will work. Uh, this is lamb's wool. Oh, that's beautiful. And I'll show these. No, I'll just show them now. This is French lace. Oh, that's really, really pretty. So let me get Bramble and let's see which one's closest. All right, so here's Bramble. And I have a fairly good size piece here, but it's 28 count. And all of my samplers, and I've been having everything stitch on 40 count, I just like the look of it better. So this is definitely not a match. As you can see, this, what is this again, antique lace? This is much more of a green tone. So I like it, but it definitely is not a replacement for Bramble. Well, I'll do that later. Then we have lamb's wool. I can tell that's, already I can tell that's too dark, but it's still a great color for samplers. So lamb's wool brings out the brown, the darker part of bramble. It's, it's, very, it's a very pretty linen. I love it. So that's that. And then I got a big old piece of this. I don't even know what one this is. Let me look at the invoice. So 
So let's see. Antique ivory. Huh, I don't have it all because unless let me see. Oh, my bad. There's more than one in here. Okay. Ooh, this one is platinum. That is beautiful. Still, it's still darker than bramble, but look at that beautiful, beautiful tan color. Oh, it's really, really pretty. That is beautiful for samplers. Then this one is sand. So if you hold sand up next to platinum, I don't know how well this is going to show. But they're both still darker than bramble, but oh man, they're beautiful for oh, anything. So the uh, sand, which is this one, is a little bit more brown and the platinum is a little bit more gray, but perfect, perfect, perfect for sample colors. So I did not achieve my goal. <laughs> None of them are as light as the lightest color in Bramble. So I'm still on the hunt for that. And I will just keep hunting. I mean, in the meantime, I'm gonna place an order with Picture This Plus for the Bramble, but I just don't know when I'll get it. So anyways, that's my little unboxing for you today. Isn't that awesome? I did place an order with Picture This Plus for Bramble. I ordered a yard of 40 count and a large piece, not quite a yard, but a large piece of 32 count. I love it because I don't want a white white, but I want a nice cream color. And it's everything I've been buying lately and seeing lately, it's just a little bit darker than Bramble. So I was really excited to... Um, get that ordered. I hope, I don't know how long their shipping is right now, but it's at least on order. And then uh, something else that came in this week was Classic Color Works order. So I'm going to insert another video here showing you. Hey guys, I have an unboxing that I want to share with you. This came in yesterday. Today is Saturday. I'm getting ready to film my floss tube and I thought I would unbox this rather than just showing all the floss. So this is from uh, classic color works and I'm excited to see all the beautiful colors that they sent me <sighs> hubby's drums are still in here I'd play for you if I knew how so let's get busy unboxing look how sweet they package their stuff. So, so nice. Yes. And they give us treats. I mean, who doesn't love treats, right? Oh my goodness. Y'all, can you just see the butamus here? And this came quick. I think it's only been, well, I ordered them when I got back from Tennessee. So it's maybe a week. Yeah. Ah, oh, so gorgeous. And I'm just thrilled. I love their floss. I love their colors. Whoopsie. Look at all of that. Sticks and twigs, straw, hat, tea and biscuits, Tennessee red clay, smoke. That's a new one I haven't I haven't used before. Dandelion stem, cocoa bean, perfect pie crust. I mean everything shabby sheep. Are you kidding me, shabby sheep? When I saw that name, like that's another one I have did not have in my stash, and had never heard of. So when I just saw the name, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna love that one. Old Oak Tree, Joshua Tree, oh, so gorgeous. I love that they use Ziploc too. I mean, who doesn't use Ziploc? Ah, 
chai, caramel, chopped chives. I think they have them in, nope. I was gonna say, I think they have them in alphabetical order, but no. Vanilla custard, barn door, baking tin, hickory sticks, black coffee, bamboo, balsam fir, chocolate mousse. Gorgeous. And then our last one here. Weeping Willow, Zach Black, Wild Oats, Thundercloud. I love that gray. I'm always looking for a good gray. That is gorgeous. Can you see that? Thundercloud? Thundercloud? Seriously? Thundercloud. Timber, Wasabi. Trail Dust, Used Brick. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I like that color. I don't think I have that one either. Yield Gold, I love that one. Wilderness, it's a beautiful green. So yeah, guys, now I gotta put these all away. But that's the least of my worries. Oh, God, I'm just trying to keep them separate. Keep them separated. So yeah, Donna, I need that floss wall. I need a floss wall really bad. Really, really bad. That's it, guys. Ah! I'm so excited. Did you just see those gorgeous colors? Oh my gosh. And I have also Weeks Dye Works order is coming in. It's shipped. I just didn't get it. So hopefully um, I'll get that this coming week and I'll share that with you. Then Blackberry Primitives. I told you guys that I was going to I, that I ordered biscotti from her. Actually, she gifted these to me. I, did, I didn't order it. I cannot believe the big piece that she gave me. It's a gorgeous. So I'm going to, I think I'm just going to, like I said, freehand stitch on it and just see what I come up with. I don't know. I think that sounds fun. And then she's so generous. She sent me this one. This is earthy green. And I love it because it's not green, it's brown, and it's really showing up well on the screen. It's such a beautiful, actually it looks a little bit light on the screen. I wonder if I get closer to my help. But look how gorgeous, oh, look at that color. Just so beautiful. So yeah, I think something Halloween would be cool on this one. All right, so I can't wait to, to stitch on that and just see how it goes. That's it. I believe that's it for haul. So we're going to go on to giveaway. So last, or this, yeah, last week you had to stay in your comments, stitchy stuff, and tell us where you like to buy your stitchy stuff. So thank you everyone for your comments. So I will insert the YouTube random comment picker here. All right, let's see who wins this week. You had to say stitchy stuff in your comment. This week's winner is Susan Riddle. I truly enjoyed your video showing your stitchy stuff along with others' creations. I'm getting back into cross stitch and have bought most of my stitchy stuff from Fat Quarter Shop. I am really drawn to the patriotic patterns, so I plan to look at Etsy too. Thank you for encouraging so many to create from the heart and to be kind to others. That's so sweet. Susan, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you everyone for your comments. Congratulations, Susan. If you could email me at TeresaCogat3 at gmail.com, I will get pet all the dogs in the mail to you ASAP. So this week, I want you to tell me, do you stitch Christmas in July? I know a lot of people stitch Christmas in July. I'm just curious if you're part of that group or not. And your keyword is going to be July. Okay. And the prize for next week is going to be the summer issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine. I get one free because I have a design in here, but I also have a, I also have a subscription so that I can do a giveaway. So, yay! Now, if you already have a subscription to this magazine and you already have it, please go ahead and enter anyways because when you get it, you can gift it pay it forward and give it to somebody else that, you know, might be just new into stitching and doesn't know about the, you know, magazine yet. So, so inside I have my cute little sheet that I just think is so cute. And it's such a quick little punch. Oh my gosh. Tara Guernsey. Ooh, maybe I can insert a picture. She finished it. 
She's a prolific puncher. I'm going to ask permission first, of course, but if I can get a hold of her in time before I am done ed editing this video, I will insert her finish. And so I went ahead and signed Happy Punching, and I signed and dated it too. So that's just a little perk for you. All right, guys. That is a quick floss tube for me. I'm, <laughs> like I said, didn't get a whole lot of things done. So I appreciate you spending your Saturday or whenever you watch this, spending your time with me. And I look forward to seeing what happens in the next week. I have big plans, big plans, you know, but <laughs> we'll see how much I get done. Thanks again for being here. And don't forget, create every day. Bye. Bobby, what are you doing in your diaper? You're fixing it? What's wrong with it? You just undid it. Why are you undoing your diaper? Bobby, what do you got going on? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Did you fix it? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. You, would you like Grandma to help you? No. You want help? No. No? Fix you fix it? Fix it. Hey, <laughs> hey Bubby, I think you got a blowout. Can I help you? Wow, you're keeping Grandma busy. Hey, if you want to be done, you just let us know. We'll make me stop. All done, guys. All done. Yep. Thank you. No, I don't want to do it. No, Easton, we're all done, baby. Uh, you're wearing Grandma out. <laughs> Are you playing peekaboo? <laughs> you got a big old corn there, don't you, Ellery? You got a big one too, huh? Yeah? Is it delicious? Delicious. Delicious. All right. Mmm. <laughs> Grandma goes. Grandma's doing laundry. She'll be right out. There she is. <laughs> oh, she's making a grand entrance. Look! Look at these kiddos, mom. Look at them eating the corn on the cob. Oh my gosh! Look how good they're doing. Isn't that good? Is it good? This is spicy. Oh, it's a little bit too much pepper. Okay, well turn it. There's not pepper right here. If you look right here, there's no pepper, so just turn it. Did you like your potatoes there you go. and chicken? They haven't tried that yet. They're so fascinated with the corn. <laughs> He's so happy. Look at him. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Good stuff, huh? Huh? Yeah. We got oh, candles. we got candles? Yeah. That's right, we got candles. Mm, hold on, y'all know. I can't get this one out. That's a plate. I'm going to leave this one after. You could do three on each cupcake and then one. Four, four on one of them. Well, if you just put them all together, it'd be like one thing. I want this one. Oh, careful, careful, careful. No. Yeah, this is so warm. What do you mean we just need one? Just need one on here. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, I like those, like platinum. Oh, those are pretty. Mm -hmm. I've never seen them before. Ready? Ready to sing? Ready? Two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brianna. Happy birthday to you. Can you warm up for me? Go ahead. No? Yeah. Good luck. All right, yay! Happy birthday, Bri. I want mine. It's not my birthday, I don't really care.